Hey guys, so I've been waiting in the mail for tons of things. Um, not little on the list, two Lolita dresses, which haven't shown up for months. Uh, so I got a large package in the mail today and I was pretty excited to see what it was. I was really hoping it was one of my dresses, but it turns out, and this is why I wanted to make a video, this big package, instead of holding a Lolita dress, oh, there's another one in there. Uh, held, it turns out, five different packages. So, I'm not that sad. It kind of feels like Christmas. I'm super excited to see what it is. Honestly, from looking at the packaging, I have no idea. It's from China. Um, description of the contents has really nothing. Uh, no information, so it could be from Wish, but I feel like the things I've gotten from Wish have come faster than this, honestly, and they haven't all come in like one big package, uh, but I could be wrong. So I'm pretty excited to see what it is. All right, so of the packages I have, uh, this one is the largest. Feels like it could be socks or tights. Um, this is the second largest. I honestly have no idea what it is. Third largest, so no idea. And then I've got one, two of these little guys, and I already lost one. There it is. These are probably like hair accessories or jewelry or something. So I'm gonna start with the littlest one. Honestly, like this package, this is the area where the product is so just this tiny little corner has something tiny in it so that's a good place to start all right oh i love it it's christmas time oh and inside we have a very tiny little bag and it's a pin I cut the bag open. Whoops. It is a small pin, a little Ouija pin, a little uh, Ouija board planchette, which is super cute. I vaguely remember buying this, but very vaguely. Um, but I'm so stoked. It is very, very cute. And I love Ouija stuff. I know it's a really common trope nowadays, um, but I did play Ouija board as a preteen and teen and was pretty into it um so you know i'm i'm legit okay don't even question it's it's not aesthetics it's real to me all right uh second package oh my gosh I'm, i feel like i'm already going too fast um oh, i'm just admiring this planchette one more time it's so cute all right second bag this does have a description it says beads uh, that's still a mystery to me. Always a mystery when I get these packages in the mail, usually. Alright. Hard to tell what it is. Looks like it could be little horns or something. Which seems like something I would buy. I have a few sets of clip-in hair horns and a couple antlers. Um, and they're really cute, but... I got them from Etsy and I've had them for quite a few years and they've actually been falling apart, uh, which is a shame. So, yeah, it looks like, oh no, oh, these are way cooler. Uh, they are friggin' crow skulls, little crow skull bobby pins. And I got two of them. <sighs> these are going to look really, really good in my hair. Stoked, very stoked. And uh, they are plastic. I can tell that they're plastic uh, and not clay. Uh, the other horn uh, hair clips and antler clips I got were made of clay. Obviously they were handmade, which was really nice, but um, these are made of hard plastic and I feel like they're gonna last longer uh, as long as the glue stays, which I'm assuming is just glued in but these are so cool they will look amazing stuck into some space buns or something 
That's my little Ouija pin. Okay, so now I feel like I know um, what this haul was about. I was feeling a little goth a few weeks ago. Um, I wanted to relive my goth side, so obviously this little spree is what came of it. Um, no regrets, no regrets. All right, which one next? Okay, this says, description of content says, Toll, T-O-L-L, -L. and color green. So um, that's like no information still. This one really feels like tights. Doesn't have a description. This one says fashion hats. Plural, but it's like all folded up, so I'm a little worried that whatever hat is in here is locked up beyond repair. That has happened to me before. All right, I'm going with this one first. The green. No, you know what? Here, hold on. Fashion hats. So that if they are screwed up, I have something to look forward to. Right. It is. It's a beret. I do collect berets. Um, generally, I don't buy them on the internet just because they tend to be overpriced and you can find berets literally anywhere. There's no reason to wait for them. Um, I don't know, personally where I live, it's really easy for me to find a beret here or there. Uh, but when I want a specific color, the internet is the best place to go. So um, I have a navy blue beret, sorry, this crinkling is super loud. Let me take it out of the package. So here's the beret. It's a navy blue. Uh, I did get this to go with my uh, one of my coordinates that I've been working on, um, my AP Starry Girl dress. Uh, it's navy blue with gold uh, and black accents. And I really wanted a nice navy blue beret to go with it. Uh, that I could click my clip my little gold star clips to and stuff something that I could wear for a more casual look um, And uh, yeah, the fact that it's folded up doesn't really matter because it's a beret and I could straight up just iron the little creases out So I am not worried about that at all. It's nice. It's soft felt. It's Pretty much exactly what you would expect from a beret. So I am not unhappy with this. I'm very happy with that and I think that's a really nice dark color and will fit with uh, AP Starry Girl really well. Awesome. So three things I love. Three out of three. I mean, I did order them for myself, so hopefully I love them, but you never know. All right. I'm very intrigued by these, this, whatever this is, the things that feel like socks. So I'm just going to crack this open. My raddies are having a good time over there. Say hello. Oh, hello, Smalls. Baby. Oh. Yeah, they're, um, they're my babies. I'm super cringy about them because I love them so much. No regrets. Okay. Okay, pattern on the material of this is super cute. I still have no idea what it is. All I see is little bunny faces and what looks like blue strawberries. All right. And I still have no idea what it is. It has little clips. Oh, you know what? Ironically, I think this is something for my rats. Again, sorry about the crinkling. I will open it. I think what this is, yeah, it is. Oh, it's so cushy. Um, it is a hammock for my rats. Uh, right now, you will see that uh, my boyfriend and I kind of just make a hammock out of spare material that we have. Hi, babies. Um, and they love it. They live in the hammock. They sleep there. Um, but I want to get them something that's a bit more legit. Uh, a little nicer, a little cuter also, obviously, aesthetics and everything I do. Uh, so I bought this, um, which is oh, it's so nice. I'm kind of jealous. I wish I had a hammock like this. It's very cushy. Um, it's got felt on the inside. And the pattern is so cute. 
love it so it has four hooks so we'll hang like so they can stick their heads out and there's actually two layers so they can stick hang out in the bottom pocket or in the top pocket which is very cool which is good also because I have two girls and sometimes they want space from each other and I can't blame them so oh it's so nice it smells good and they are going to destroy it probably in no time but still a nice little gift from mom <sighs> all right we're already here last package this is when I crack my white claw which uh not sponsored but it's the end of the day uno of these only 100 calories they're a great little at the end of the day drink and a little celebration for getting Christmas early or Christmas all year round, which is what I get because I'm always shopping on eBay. Mm. All right, last one, the green mystery package. I really hope it's a piece of clothing because I mean, that's always what you hope for. I order larger pieces of clothing uh, less often than I order like little knickknacks like the pins or the hair pins or whatever uh, So fingers crossed It's a cool shirt or something, but it's said the color green. I'm still pretty confused by that. So we will see um, Okay Is this another rat toy? I do not remember. Oh my god, I do remember. I remember buying this. Oh my goodness. I am so glad that my boyfriend is not home because I bought this for him. I completely forgot. He is uh, out of town right now with his parents for the next two nights, which is kind of why I was doing this video. Usually I'm a little more self-conscious and I won't do this stuff around him. Um, but I do usually open my packages with him and he kind of gets excited on my behalf because he's a big sweetheart and he's the best boyfriend ever. But I bought this for him and I completely forgot. It is a friggin' Shrek hat. Oh my God. I can't believe I bought this. Honestly. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Look at it. Look at the ears. Actually, it doesn't smell too bad. Kind of smells like an old lady's house. Which is better than usually stuff that comes from China Souls Light. Oh my god. One of the ear holes is like way bigger than the other one. Um, at the same time though, like it weirdly seems hand knitted. Like it seems like someone put love into this. Which I'm sure it's like factory knitted. But like that ear, that one ear is like perfect. This one's a little misshapen, but... You know what? He's an ogre, so. Man, my only worry is that my boyfriend has a very small head. He has, like, a child-sized head. Um, and I have a normal to large size human head. So if this doesn't fit me, that's probably a good thing because I want to fit him. But I am going to try it on because how can I not? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm living my best Shrek life right now. Oh my God, look at those ears, amazing. Yeah, one's a little weird, but you know what? Like I said, I'm an ogre. I'm not supposed to be cute, but I am though, aren't I? Can't help it. Oh my gosh. It fits me really well actually and it keeps my ears warm even though this is not the season for it right now it is august uh <laughs> but i still want to wear it this is amazing he's going to die and i honestly don't know if he'll ever wear it um but i definitely will <laughs> he steals all my other hats i don't know why he wouldn't steal this one all right cool well that was a pretty successful haul, I guess. I got a Shrek hat. I got a rat hammock. I got a blue beret. I got crow skull pins. And I got 
a Ouija board planchette pen. So I got a little bit of goth, a little bit of rat mom, a little bit of Lolita, and a little bit of Shrek. And if that's not a pretty well-rounded haul, I don't know what is. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Cheers.